El realismo mágico es cuando se puede poner elementos fantas fantásticos en la vida normal. Tener como un, un a pet that is a unicorn, por ejemplo. Vale. Y después, eh, eh, pero puede vivir cosas del normales, ¿no? Del, de, de la problemática normal de la vida, ¿no? Sí, claro. Como por ejemplo tener un trabajo y todo eso, pero con elementos fantásticos. Por ejemplo, no sé, um, flo, uh, el ejemplo que tengo es flores que nunca se marchitan. Se marchi marchitan, marchitan. Se marchitan, por sí. ejemplo. ¿Y qué, qué, habilidad, qué habilidad tienen tus personajes en tu, en tu libro que estás escribiendo ahora? Um, ¿Tienen alguna habilidad especial? Sí, porque mi personaje viaja mucho y entonces encontrar personas y um, situaciones en, en su vida en un mundo real que son un poquito raras. Por ejemplo, she gets at one point to a place where she it's like it's all empty and she's like this place is really creepy and then she gets to know that there used to be uh, the ocean there. And it's called, mm. that place is called the MTC because it goes to, there's two sides to the MTC. It goes to one side or it goes to another side, but it comes back every year and crossing it is like kind of impossible because there's the whole thing. The point of the, the book is where she ends up and not what she's going through. Mm -hmm. So I figured that if she, if, if for it to be entertaining, there has to be some danger mm -hmm. and there has to be some questions as in like, At this point of the story, you have to feel like she's not gonna make it. Basically, I took everything you could possibly cross when you travel, like a desert, an ocean, mountains, hmm. locathea, whatever, and I just kind of like changed it into something magical. The example of the flowers that, that don't die, an example that I got from um, a cemetery, hmm. like where people go, they put flowers, and I don't know why I kind of had like this weird thought in my head that those those flowers they they don't die because the person stayed there the thing that i like about magical realism is because they trigger em emotions uh, within you uh, because sometimes but uh, they're not really but they could vary from person mm -hmm. to person eh, porque por ejemplo si tú te lees una novela no eh, descriptiva realista al final las emociones suelen ser estándar no porque te proporciona pues te proporciona tristeza venganza odio, no sé qué, pero cuando tú, eh, when you start seeing these magical images, they trigger stuff and it could completely change, it, it could even change it for, for myself, depending on the mood I am in. Depende de tu interpretación, como no es algo real, Exacto. se puede interpretar de muchas maneras. ¿Tú lees, a ti te gusta la ciencia ficción o lees más, eh, like, eh, Leo más de psicología, sí, de self-help books. Self -help sí, books. Sí. Okay. sí, pero esa cosa me interesa porque ¿cómo funciona tu cerebro para poder es pensar en es eso? Es mágico, claro, claro. ¿Sabes? Entonces... Eso es creatividad, la creatividad, tía. Sí, la creatividad. Porque creo que es solo la manera en que escribes. Tienes que encontrar tu propio género. El hecho de que puedes escribir sobre diferentes emociones y no solo describir algo que puedes ver. Porque las emociones son abstractas. Sí, describir cosas que veo, I find it really I'm like there was a table it was red it was yeah, but you, you leave that to the reader to <laughs> like imagine. I just I just you know it was a table whatever color yeah there was that on it no no like I, I don't know how to describe that, that that's a nicer way for to leave like independence as well for your yeah. reader because they can imagine it however they can what I'm writing about it's about loss and about death and about the way you deal with that with someone you lost And it's different for everybody. And uh, I think growing up, that's like in books, I always saw the same patterns. And it's like you lose someone, then you meet someone else, you fall in love, life is beautiful, then you do something that ties you to the dead person, you sing a song, you do whatever, and then woo, you just forget about it. How do you describe, like, for you, what does the MTC look like? It looks like a nightmare. It's really, it's dried up. There's like, Uh, holes everywhere, cr the fuck? cracks, <laughs> and you um, there's a, like some dead fish in it because when the sea goes. Ah, so there's no water. The TC, it's like you have it's it it image see it this way. You have one world here, you have one world here. Here you have some kind of like gates, mm -hmm. and the MTC is either on one side, either on the other, and crossing the gates really hard. The sea stays here for a year, then it goes away, stay there for a year, then comes back. It's kind of like. 
How did you come up with that? I have, I have no idea. I have. I don't it, know. Yeah, everything <laughs> happens for a reason. So you must have had an inspiration for. Yeah, I for think that everything kind of. I started with like she has to go through uh, landscapes because it's it's she's traveling and it's not and it's like you don't really know what time it is of like what time period you don't know you have no idea if you don't know if it's in the future if it's in the past if it's right now it's kind of like a small rincon somewhere yeah, rinconcito <laughs> little corner no? <laughs> and and so you don't know that so you you can't take a plane you can't take a train all of that and also the place she's going to it's like the land of the dead to get her best friend back so you know oh that my God. You, you could write you could write the next movie for the Lord of the Rings <laughs> be, or, or Harry Potter. I, that reminds me of this movie, Captain Fantastic, because of the concept of death, the way you are describing it. It's, it's a pretty cool movie. It's this guy. He raises a bunch of kids of his own, but uh, in in the wild, like in the in a Swedish in a Swedish uh, forest or whatever. But anyway, the, the the wife dies. The wife dies in the in the beginning of the movie. In the mm -hmm. beginning of the movie, so. So the thing is, these kids are raised in a really, in a really wild uh, environment. <laughs> environment, right? The wife tells him to that when she died, they had to burn her, and the the ashes they had to sing a song while they throw it on a on a toilet uh, in a public bathroom. She wanted death to be a fun thing, thing to do with the for them because she hated the the idea of death being. A sad, sad situation. Yeah. The movie is half comedy, half drama. He learns that he needs to respect his wife's last words. 